Tony Fidel, the co-creator of the iPod and iPhone and founder of Nest Labs, has said, I wake up in cold sweats every so often thinking what did we bring to the world? Did we bring a nuclear bomb with information that can, as we see with fake news, reprogram people? Or did we bring light to people who never had information, who can now be empowered? Beyond the smartphone, the ability to augment the real world Don Mass has incredible potential to shape public consensus while influencing an individual's perception of a place and themselves in it. Is it possible to anticipate and design out potential negative consequences of augmented reality in the real world? The enabled landscape is personal computing that enhances and amplifies the physical experience of simultaneously arriving at and traveling through the landscape via seamless and live computer-generated sensory inputs, graphical, video, or sound information, that are uniquely associated with that place including historical, cultural, and personal significance its sense of place. What is so powerful about the enabled landscape is it involves one of the most precious things we do as people which is to transfer information and communicate with each other. This is power, but power isn't always positive. It is very common for humans to develop things with the best of intentions and for them to have unintended, negative consequences states Justin Rosenstein who helped develop the like button on Facebook. If correct measures are not in place, digital platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter are by their large-scale nature and communication reach susceptible to the spread of disinformation, as the 2016 United States election bears witness. So, what does this mean for our A lesson from the present Catalonia, Spain, October 2017. The regional government declares independence from Spain and ignites a constitutional crisis. Just four years prior, the Elborn Cultural Center in Barcelona had opened, focusing on a preserved archaeological remains surrounded by curated media in the form of text, video, images, and audio. In and of itself, the archaeological remains are neutral, appreciated viscerally. Yet an Ulster University study concluded the created content at such heritage sites were deployed to paint a picture of a region victimized and oppressed because of its unique cultural identity ultimately influencing visitors, local or otherwise, to empathize with the separatism cause hoping to mobilize a generation of voters who will change Catalonia's political future and influence the hearts and minds of tourists, a particular historical perspective that is problematic, simplistic, and ignores the significant complexities of society in 18th-century Europe.